Tesla has integrated Grok into its electric cars in most of the world, but it's not allowed to in China. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Chinese government said, no, no Grok here in China. So Tesla has said, well, okay, what are we going to do about this? Because customers in China, they expect artificial intelligence integrated into their cars, which is kind of very different to us in the West. And people in the West are like, AI in our car, uh, okay, that's interesting. Some people really want it. Some people just couldn't care less. But in China, people are saying, no, 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 no. We want what's new. Tesla have responded. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. If you can become a YouTube member, that would be awesome. I'll put a link in the description below. Tesla has integrated DeepSeek and Dubao, uh, both AIs, into their cars in China, which is interesting. Tesla is integrating DeepSeek and Dubao, two AIs that compete with Grok inside its cars in China. Now, yeah, they compete with Grok, but they don't really compete with Grok in China. That's different. Anyhow, these artificial intelligence features actually do interact with the car's functions. So it's actually better than Tesla, the way they use Grok. It doesn't really interact with Tesla's functionality in the cars. It's nice to have, but it's not really all that functional. In the US, Tesla launched Grok, and this is, of course, similar to ChatGPT. I use it sometimes. I've found that ChatGPT version 5 is actually a bit better than Grok. So I've actually been using ChatGPT version 5 now more than Grok because I feel like it's improving quicker. But Tesla is adding these Chinese AIs to its cars in China. According to new documents on its website, Tesla is adding DeepSeek and ByteDance's Dubao to its vehicles in China. And they're starting with the Model Y L. That's the first vehicle that will actually get it. Tesla is actually partnering with ByteDance's Volcano Engine cloud service to host both AI models. DeepSeek will be used as a chatbot and a voice assistant inside the car. This is similar to how you can use Grok currently. Uh, but in China, uh, DeepSeek is used by a lot of people, right? They'll be in, sitting in their car and they'll, ask, they'll basically say, Hey, Xpeng, or hey, whatever your car is, um, tell me this. I want to go here. Are there good restaurants there? Are there? The, is, can my car do this? Where are these features? And it works incredibly well, much, much better than Australia's and America's and Europe's voice assistants do. It's actually really kind of scary to think how bad ours are in the West in comparison to how well AI has been integrated into a lot of cars in China. Unlike Grok, Dubao will be able to interact with Tesla vehicles and replace voice commands with a new Hey Tesla, and that'll wake the car up apparently. Now, I don't actually know how well this is going to integrate with Tesla's new Model Y L, but we do know Tesla's incredibly good with software. Uh, their vehicles are software, the definition of a software-defined car. I think I still think that um, Tesla's software is the best in the industry, it's very complex. I mean, certainly if you get into a car, a Tesla car, and you've never been in an EV before, and you want to try and figure out Tesla's UI, there is, you don't have to go too far in, but if you want to, you can get really deep, and it can be a bit confusing because there's so many menus, but it's also amazing for optionality. There's features in the Teslas that you don't get in most cars. Really, really cool stuff. So I kind of think Tesla might do a really good job of integrating it, or they might just go, well, we need it for customers. Just stick it in the cars. Just get it done. That's possible too. And then maybe in 2026, they'll really work on integrating it properly and making it really, really um, have that, that, that real premium Tesla software experience. But I'm going to guess initially, it's probably not going to be awesome. I'm not sure though. Either way, interesting to see Tesla integrate two different AIs into the car to have both DeepSeek and to have Dubao. Now, what's also interesting is that makes these two companies kind of compete against each other. But you can think about it this way. As your EV ages, the AI integrated into your car will continue to improve, right? And if your car also gets over their updates, this is a whole new world, isn't it? Your car getting better as it gets older. I love it. What are your thoughts? 
Thanks for watching. Both the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y have had a big range and a massive performance boost. We're talking new batteries here, guys. Tesla have finally, finally put new batteries in the Model Y and the Model 3, and we're seeing a big increase. This, this is a really a pretty game-changing move here from Tesla. Prices have gone up by about $2,000, but um, it's well and truly worth the price rise. I kind of feel like if you've just bought the Model Y Juniper and the Model 3 Highland, you're seeing this, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm a bit disappointed because this is a big difference. Big, big difference. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Thank you for subscribing. And also to those of you who have become YouTube members, members of the channel, you do get access to videos that are not on the main channel. I'll put a link in the description. What's this? What's this all about? Okay. Clearly, Tesla have changed the batteries, finally, using higher energy density batteries in China. This, these improvements only apply to the models made in China, which are sold all around the world, but um, this is not the US-made Tesla. I don't know if you guys are going to see these improvements. You certainly could. It's possible you're still getting batteries from China. Well, I guess you're still getting batteries from Japan, really, aren't you, in the United States? But anyhow, the changes here are huge for people in Australia, markets, Thailand markets that get the Chinese made version of the Model Y and the Model 3. Of course, in the in Europe, you guys get the Chinese made Tesla Model 3. So what's the difference? The long range Tesla Model 3 model now has 753 kilometers of CLTC range, which is an improvement of 40 kilometers over the previous version. That's a pretty big difference. Real world range, you're probably looking at about 600 kilometers of real world range. That's that's actually really big real world range. And that is an improvement of 5.4%. So whatever you're getting right now, when you, when you get the new version of this car, the Model 3, you're going to get an improvement of 5.4%. Clearly, the batteries have been changed. It's a higher energy density battery, I believe. That's what I've been hearing from China. But here's the thing. Performance has drastically improved as well. I mean, it's a big difference. The new Model 3 long range all wheel drive does zero to 100 kilometers an hour. So zero to 62 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds now. That's a big difference. That's 0 0.6 seconds faster. So here's what Tesla said on their social media pages in China. Model 3 long range all wheel drive version upgraded, longer range, CLTC range increased to 753 kilometers. 